Hello, it's Monday, August 17th. I am Ann Fenless, and one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Long Lake, Minnesota. It's a congregation of the ELCA, and I'm so glad that you're stopping by here today for a, a few moments to be with God. Um, I had intended to talk about Lamentations, had prepared quite a bit for uh, that with you, and I'm going to put it on the back burner here today. It'll show up uh, some other time. But some uh, something that occurred this weekend uh, made me start thinking. And let me preface this by saying I love my morning coffee, right? I love getting up in the morning, making a cup of coffee, and just enjoying that while I sit down with scripture or prayer or reading. And oftentimes I will get through the entire day and right before I go to bed, I'll think, oh my gosh, I, I had no legit water today. I had coffee, um, basically. Maybe I had a, a ginger ale or a spindrift. Love my spindrift. It's wa there's water in those things, of course, but I did not have, I, often I don't even have a legit cup of water, glass of water. Something like this is what I'm talking about. 32 ounces would be great to drink in a day. Well, I know that I am not drinking enough water. I can get by with it for a long, 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 long time, but I know that it has finally caught up with me that I've been depleting my hydration when I start to experience um, muscle cramps. They won't happen all the time, but uh, when they do, they're quite painful. And this past weekend, I started getting cramps in my big toe and on some of the other toes on that same foot, very painful. And I figured, you know what? I haven't been, been drinking enough water. And did I do anything about it? Nah, not right away. I just figured, you know, maybe it was just a fluke. But as they continued to happen, I thought, okay, Anne, drink some more water. And in fact, I um, had to, I realized it was important to get some more hydration. And so I have these little hydration packets and uh, last night before I went to bed, I had a big glass of water with one of these in it. And wouldn't you know, I woke up this morning and realized there was not a cramp anywhere to be found. Didn't have a cramp at all last night. And it got me thinking about our lives of prayer, our spiritual lives, especially in this time of pandemic when we are really... We really have to be intentional. Well, we have to be intentional about going to worship anyway, but uh, because we're doing worship online, we're doing a drive-in service now, we just have to be super intentional about our lives of faith. We always have been, don't get me wrong. Um, but when we are not, uh, it's like we're depleting our body of the hydration it needs, the spiritual hydration, if you will. Uh, if we're not engaged in prayer, daily prayer, it shows up. Um, and it shows up, especially uh, in these times where things seem really bleak sometimes. There's this cycle that I talked about where we, we uh, experience fear, which leads to fatigue, which leads to despair, and how this kind of just keeps going around and around and around. The best way to counteract that cycle, it's like the cycle of toe cramps that I felt this week, and the best way to defeat that cycle of despair in our lives, in our faith lives, is to be constant and consistent in our relationship with God. And that happens, friends, through prayer um, and scripture reading. But I'd say prayer is really who God has created us, the relationship that God has created us to have with God. So folks, I wanna encourage you to um, get back to that. If you found yourself kind of getting away, nourish yourselves again, hydrate your lives of faith, and engage in uh, prayer and relationship with God. Maybe uh, re-engage and double down and recommit to that here this day and this week. It's something that we really do have to pay attention to. It does not happen automatically. Not even for your pastors, it doesn't. So we too have to be very intentional about that. Uh, I'll be praying for you today, and it's Monday, which is our day to pray, so would you please pray with me? Good and gracious God, thank you for bringing us to this day. There are many people right now who are experiencing hopelessness for the future. We ask that you bring the light of your presence into all of our hearts. 
fill us with your hope and lie, your hope and your love, and strengthen our minds and our bodies for this journey ahead, this journey of life, giving us courage to face each new day. Be with all who have been affected by COVID-19, healthcare workers, families who are suffering because they are unable to be with their loved ones who are dying, those in isolation. Be with those who are grieving the loss of work, the loss of relationship with others, the loss of normalcy. Continue to use us, Lord, and empower us this day to be your presence to a world in such great need. Help us to love others, especially when we do not want to love them. And fashion us as your people and lead us so that we give to others the abundant grace you are always giving to us. We thank you for knowing the concerns of our hearts before we even ask. We thank you for your presence in every breath we take. In your name we pray. Amen. So folks, as a matter of physical health, if you haven't yet today, go hydrate yourself. Drink some water. And as far as your spiritual lives go, hydrate yourself. Sit down with God. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.